management of a number of hematological malignancies like acute lymphoblastic leukemia has included a maintenance phase, uh, and this has been going on for several decades. Um, in AML, we haven't been uh, using uh, maintenance strategies uh, as a standard of care. However, there have been a number of uh, attempts uh, to design or develop uh, maintenance uh, strategies using a variety of agents. And um, I think over the years, um, for because of the fact that many of these agents have toxicity, uh, and also because none of the strategies have been proven uh, on a randomized trial, uh, maintenance therapy had not been used in acute myeloid leukemia. I think the agents, uh, the cytobine and uh, azocytidine or hypomethylating agents, have been a very uh, good candidate for such maintenance therapy for two reasons. One, that if they are um, relatively non-toxic, and two, they do have significant activity in the myeloid neoplasms. Uh, so there have been a number of attempts to use these agents uh, in their uh, usual uh, administration format, which is either intravenous or subcutaneous. But um, the studies have not been uh, able to accrue enough patients to definitively show the role of maintenance. The Quasar uh, AML001 study, which uh, used oral azocytidine or CC486 as a maintenance strategy in uh, patients above age 55 uh, who had received traditional RSC and anthracycline based induction, followed by uh, one to three consolidations, uh, did show a benefit for these patients who were deemed not candidates for allogeneic stem cell transplant. So this has now been established in the U.S. and as, as an FDA-approved uh, strategy for maintenance therapy uh, after initial induction and consolidation in patients who are not candidates for transplant. Uh, there are a few patients on that study who did receive transplant, but this did not affect their outcome adversely. Of course, post-transplant strategies are also of interest nowadays. Uh, the Probably the furthest along are uh, the FLT3 inhibitors. Uh, studies from uh, Germany and China have shown the efficacy of sorafenib uh, in post-transplant setting in FLT3 mutated AML in terms of increasing at least relapse-free survival and perhaps overall survival. And uh, there are also potential future studies using the oral hypomethylating agent, uh, Amadeus study, which is uh, looking at CC486, uh, in the post-transplant setting and is currently accruing patients. And uh, I think uh, maintenance therapy is here to stay, and we are uh, going to use uh, more uh, uh, different strategies now that we have a number of orally um, uh, active and uh, non-toxic uh, agents that can be uh, potentially be used uh, even in the post-transplant setting.